this is my review on a bike mate uh, bike carrier. Um, we went down to Florida from Maryland to visit some friends and uh, family, and they, they had two bikes. They said, hey, you can have these. And we've actually got this bike carrier that you can use to take them back. Um, I said, awesome, wow. Um, so uh, first off, we made it back, so that was good. But I do have some concerns. Um, so let's start with how it attaches. Uh, we've got six cam straps here, two at the top, two in the middle, and two down here in the bottom, going to the bottom of the trunk. Um, I really appreciate it. I was concerned at first, but I was really appreciate how these are rubberized um, to be more gentle on the car. Uh, on the side, they were a bit of a tight fit, and when I tried to make this more straight of an attachment, I got this. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so what was... What my big concern was, um, so these bikes, you can see, this is made for just a typical kind of um, pole style bike, tubular bike. Um, these two bikes were a little non-standard in that they had these two side bars. The blue one fit okay, this one is a little wider, so this is where we struggled. Um, and that was a women's bike, so that was just different in general. Um, so I, I don't know if they have a special attachment for women's bikes, but, um, so out of the straps, um, let's see, the white bike was attached here and those extra tubes did not treat these very well and they actually broke off, but fortunately the bike shifted and pinched it. So uh, at the first gas station or rest area, I discovered that, rearranged it, tightened some things up a little differently and we were okay. Uh, still a little concerning. Um, the other concern, you can see, I'll show you what they're supposed to look like. These rubber things bite onto these oval elliptical teeth. All right, they go on here and then they pop. All right, and then that grabs them. Well, some of these teeth broke off. Um, and I'm assuming it's, again, because of the odd shape of the tubes. Um, most of them made it, but I think we lost three teeth, four teeth, it looks like. Um, so that was concerning. Overall, I'd say this would be a great bike rack if you're going from the house to the park or from the house to the trail, you know, 10, 20 miles there and back uh, cross country or up the coast. I would not do that again. Um, I had an extra cam strap with, 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 with which I tightened um, the white bike back against the blue bike. So if the white bike did get too loose, it was held by the blue bike, which was more securely strapped on with the rubber things. Um, that's my review. I wouldn't go ultra far with that again. Uh, probably gonna get something for the hitch and hitch mount it. I don't have a lot of experience with bike racks, but I think we're gonna get a little bit more experience now that we have these for the kids. And uh, hopefully we'll get a tow behind trailer for uh, for the third one soon here. So thank you, thanks for listening. Hope this helped somebody.